In national news today, President Donald Trump says Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke, who is facing federal investigations into his travel, political activity, and potential conflicts of interest, will leave the administration at the end of the year. In a tweet today, Trump says Zinke accomplished much during his tenure and that a replacement would be announced next week. Zinke is a former Republican congressman from Montana and is leaving weeks before Democrats take control of the House. Zinke played a leading part in Trump's efforts to roll back environmental regulations and promote domestic energy development. His departure comes during a staff shakeup as Trump heads into his third year in office. Zinke said today, it is a great honor to serve the American people as their interior secretary. I love working for the president and am incredibly proud of all the good work we've accomplished together. However, after 30 years of public service, I cannot justify spending thousands of dollars defending myself and my family against false allegations. It is better for the president and interior to focus on accomplishments rather than fictitious allegations. Following the news that Zinke will leave the Department of the Interior by the end of the year, the Montana Conservation Voters Education Fund released the following statement from Interim, uh, Interim Executive Director Rick Potts. He says, Ryan Zinke's departure from the Department of Interior is no surprise to Montanans. As the first Montanan to hold such a high position, Zinke has failed to protect the Montana way of life and embarrassed the state with his anti-public lands record and long list of scandals. President Trump must appoint a secretary who will stand up against big corporate interests in their efforts to take over our public lands, not someone who's in bed with them. The departure from Interior may not be Zinke's final turn in the spotlight. Reports say former Congressman, state legislator, and Navy SEAL Zinke had been mentioned as a potential candidate for Montana governor. The president on Friday named Budget Director Mick Mul Mulvaney as chief of staff. Well, fire crews put out a grass fire north of Billings Friday evening. It happened a little before 5 p.m. near Alkali Creek Road, northwest of Skyway Drive. The fire burned 136 acres, according to Fuego Volunteer Fire Com Company Chief Mark Osborne. A county bulldozer cut around the fire to contain it at 7.30 p.m. Osborne said a county-wide call went to fire departments. Several crews, including Billings, responded. Yellowstone Valley Electric Co Co Cooperative and Northwestern Energy checked po power poles, and fire crews left the scene around a little after 9 p.m. Today, three smaller fires broke out in Lockwood. Firefighters had it contained within 10 minutes. Fire Captain Kevin Sparrow says it's possible sparks from a train caused the fire, but the official cause is undetermined. Today across the nation, Americans honored veterans for National Wreaths Across America Day. Families. Families honored veterans at the Yellowstone National Cemetery. Breeze Across America provides a chance to remember, honor, and teach. Volunteers placed nearly 360 wreaths next to headstones. The ceremonies took place at 1,400 cemeteries nationwide. It's an honor and yeah. a show of respect and love. He was a good man that served his country. America needs to know that we have so many heroes, unsung heroes. He was shot down in 1968 in Vietnam. It takes a lot to preserve our freedoms in this country and that we need to pass this on from one generation to the next. That's why we're gonna relay the wreaths so we don't forget that people have served our country and sacrificed their lives for our country. It's reminding everyone um, that our veterans mean something, that they're, that they're important to us. The American Heritage Girls Troop MT0412 raised money for the wreaths. Well, a tradition more than 30 years brought Santa and Mrs. Claus to children in Lockwood today. The annual tour included several stops to deliver gifts. When the tradition started, Lockwood firefighters gave bags of apples to children. Today, the gift bags are filled with more because of community support for the firefighters' cause. The Santa and Mrs. Claus have been visiting kids in Lockwood for about 15 years.
Fantastic to be able to see the community on such a happy occasion. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, those guys uh, at Lockwood Fire, they usually see these people at their worst moments, and this is a chance for them to get out, see their community uh, on a really happy occasion, and that means a lot. It brings them happiness to have that and to give them that, you know, goodie bag or treat and everything, and to be able to see Santa, it, it just, you can just see a difference in them when they come up. At first they're shy, and then they're really happy when they get to do it. The normal Santa tour includes some other decorations, but firefighters had to respond to a grass fire in Lockwood today. Well, today is a big day for Big Sky, a new, uh, and actually at Big Sky Resort, because a new ski chairlift was debuted. MTN's Medeiros Bab tells us what is so unique about the lift, making it the only one of its kind, not only in the nation, but in the world. Lines quickly fill up as skiers and snowboarders anxiously wait to take their first ride on the newest lift at Big Sky Resort. The lift is up and running now, but president of Doppelmar Mark B said his company started construction back in May. And our crews had never put one of these together before, so, you know, when we signed the contract on March 5th, uh, we knew it was going to be a big challenge. Doppelmar had to transport hard to find pieces all the way from Austria to construct such a large project. Each chair is equipped with heated seats, an optional weatherproof bubble, and a breathtaking view. I mean, look at the people. Look at them riding the lift. Look how they're enjoying it. It's a spectacular piece of machinery and a spectacular background. The Ram Charger is the first eight-person chairlift in North America and according to Big Sky, the most technologically advanced lift in the world. It's raising the bar for the rest of North American skiing and we're excited about it happening here in Southwest Montana. This evolution of the resort does not go unnoticed, especially by skier Tom Manuel from Red Lodge, who appreciates not having to wait in line as long. I never used to like it and now it's uh, world class right out my back door. Once you get out on the runs, they're big open and the people disappear. Now that the lift is open to the public, 3,200 people can be taken to the top of the mountain each hour, something that has never been done at Big Sky before. In Big Sky, Madeira's Bab, MTN News. Pretty impressive, Big Sky. Well, thanks for watching the 530 News. After the break, meet a woman who has been diagnosed with cancer who used physical fitness to get her through some dark times during her journey. Her inspiring story after the break. Hi everybody, Scott Breen at the National Finals Rodeo here in Las Vegas. Coming up in sports, we'll set the stage for championship Saturday night and take you out to Eastern Montana for a feature related directly to this NFR. Well, Scott's down in Vegas, but we're seeing some unseasonably warm temperatures here in town today. The difference between Vegas and Billings less than 10 degrees on this December day. I'll let you know if we can continue to expect these above seasonal temperatures coming up in the full forecast in just a little bit. You're watching MTN News with Zoe Zandora, Storm Tracker Weather with Connor Pregitzer, and Sports with Casey Conlon. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader.